Have you ever seen this photograph? What about this one? Maybe this one? Some of Lucha Libre's most iconic photos were snapped by one person, Lourdes Grobe. The daughter of a Mexican bicycling champion, Lourdes was born in Mexico City on July 25, 1940. In her childhood, she would watch Lucha Libre on TV, and she absolutely loved it. She would ask her father to take her to the arenas to watch Las Luchas live and in person, but he wouldn't take her because she was a girl. In her adult life, Lourdes would start off as a painter, but eventually end up working as a photographer. And as a photographer, Lourdes would spend 30 years photographing luchadores and luchadoras inside and outside of the ring, publishing over 11,000 photos. She would befriend plenty of the stars, guys like El Solitario, Solar, Tinieblas, Blue Demon, and El Santo. She is talking about seeing many luchadores without their masks, but never seeing El Santo or Blue Demon without theirs. Supposedly, El Solitario and Tinieblas were both very handsome men. Lourdes credits El Santo as being someone who inspired the way she lived her life. She would often see his generosity, and she wanted to be like him. She tells stories of how whenever fans would spot El Santo filming a movie out in public, they would wait for him to finish and try to meet him and get autographs, and he wouldn't leave until every fan was satisfied. He was a very humble and generous man, and extremely famous. If you'd like to see more of Lourdes' works, she published a series of Lucha Libre photography books, but they are hard to get. I've been looking at buying some myself, but almost every one of her Lucha Libre books are priced near $100. The lowest I've seen online for most of her books are between $70 and $90. There is one book that is more affordable, and that is Retratos de Familia, which can be bought for around $30. So if you're able to collect all of her books, you're in possession of some very cool and pricey books. Unfortunately, Lourdes did pass away last year on July 15, 2022. Her impact on Lucha Libre history and her art will truly live forever.